Here we are at the Beckett Rabot House in St. Genevieve, and we're just about to embark on the uh, rehab work that we'll be doing here. I'm happy to say that it's not really that, that complex, it's not really that difficult. Um, there's not a whole lot that we have to do that is not just cosmetic. Um, we have um, strengthened this porch, we've, uh, we've reinforced the uh, undercarriage of this porch, and We'll be replacing some boards, uh, that's part of it. Uh, this stairway here is going to be completely replaced. Uh, we have a, a carpenter that's really a cabinet maker that's going to tune up all of these windows and shutters so that they work perfectly. And um, then, as you can see here on the side of the building, um, the <clears throat> mixture of lime and water is flaking off. and. Uh, so that'll have to be redone. There's some places where the bousselage is uh, eroded. Um, we'll remix some new bousselage and cover that. But this house, all of its life, has been white. It's been whitewashed. And so we're going to put it back just exactly as it was on the outside, and the same for the inside. Now, one of the things that's so interesting about this house, and, and truly authentic, is the fact that this is all open up above. And um, this was, I guess, for various reasons, one of which is I'm told that uh, there may well have been grain stored upstairs and that, um, that uh, having the circulation of air was important to, to keep the grain. Uh, but at one point in, this, in the history here, the, um, there was a stairway and there were people that uh, did live upstairs, maybe I should say camped upstairs, um, but there was a family that lived here for many years. Uh, in fact, this was occupied by the same uh, colonial family up until 1969. And there are people here in St. Genevieve that remember uh, the two brothers that lived in this house. And um, so the, the uh, entire family, I'm also told, uh, is buried here in St. Genevieve in the Valley Cemetery. And uh, so I'm just getting started on learning really the history uh, of what went on in this house. And it's just particularly exciting to me to um, feel like we're a little part of, of that history now.